What's up guys, welcome back to Study Money and in today's video we will show you how to open an ING account using your mobile phone. So ING basically is a purely online based bank. So your money is still covered by the PDIC and this is regulated by the BSP just like any bank here in the Philippines that's legit. Okay, so kung gusto mo matutunan kung paano magbukas ng ING account using your mobile phone, stay tuned and watch this video. Okay, so the first thing that you need to do is to go to the App Store or the Play Store and download the ING Philippines Digital Bank app. Okay, that's the very first step. So habang nag install yan, Uh, may makikita ka mga instructions dyan and may kita mo to open an account and so before you need to go any further may mga hihingin yan sa'yo na mga informasyon bago mo ma-open yung bank account so in this video you'll see that it's asking you right now for your name like your given name, middle name and your last name and in this example we'll put Juan de la Cruz as an example and kung bago ka sa channel na to please huwag kalimutan mag subscribe hit the notification bell so you get all the good stuff and ngayon hihingi niya yung email address mo so it's wandelacruz at gmail.com and then it's going to ask you to confirm the email and once more just put the right email and in this example we'll put wandelacruz at gmail.com And so, kung feeling mo correct na lahat, you hit next and it's going to send a verification number to your mobile phone. And so, ilalagay mo dyan yung cellphone number mo. And, ayan, so type natin yan dyan. Okay. Make sure that it's the correct phone number. Ayan, kung may kita nyo sa screen, it's gonna send you a six-digit verification code directly from the ING's um, SMS system so ayan wag kalimutan mag subscribe and for any questions comments suggestions put it in the comment section below and we'll be happy to answer those questions for you so once na malagay mo na yung confirmation passcode then it's going to load up for you and okay um okay there you go so we need to be sure that it's 100% you Okay, so may mga hihingi niya na mga information sa'yo along the way. And so in this moment of the application, it's going to ask you to take a photo of yourself using your mobile phone. Okay, so it's going to ask you to position your face within that frame. Ang nakikita niyo lang dito is the smiley but in actuality, well yung smiley niya sa taas niya meron pang photo. Or picture mo na makikita ka. Okay. Now it's going to ask you for uh, details such as ID cards or personal identification. So pwede mo ilagay dito yung uh, UMID, LTO license mo or driver's license mo, PRC, TIN, etc. And you're gonna need to take a photo of it. Okay. I think front side and back side. And so as you can see here, it's giving you instructions to place your ID on a dark surface. Alright. So kagaya nito, sinusubukan namin kumuha ng picture ng driver's license. Ayan. So of course for security purposes, we need to cover the uh, information that we're placing here. And so kapag satisfied ka na sa picture na nilagay mo, Then it's going to ask you for your driver's license number if that's what you put in there. Kung UMID naman, hihingin niya yung UMID number mo. Kung PRC, syempre yung uh, license number mo as well or PRC number mo. Okay? So once you've done that, then it's going to ask you to put your um, address. So type mo dyan yung street address mo, unit number so on and so forth okay make sure that it's correct make sure that it's accurate and siguro duhin mo lang na tama lahat yung ilalagay mo at hindi bogus kasi dapat magtugma yung nasa id mo na address and yung sa ilalagay mo address dito sa mobile app so that way they'll be able to verify and confirm if it's actually you 
and not someone who's just trying to create some fraudulent bank accounts all right so there are many you know many fail safe features that ing does before you entirely and completely open a new account okay so again kung bago ka sa channel na to wag, mag, wag mo kalimutan mag subscribe hit the like button and again for any comments questions put it in the section down below and we'll be happy to answer those for you okay yun uh, kung makikita mo hinihingi ang kanya ng kung anong industry ka nagtatrabaho or kung anong negosyo ka uh, meron anong type of industry you belong into and so just select whatever is appropriate for you keep scrolling down or scroll up and what I'm trying to show you right now is just a few examples of what you can see as certain types of industries here okay so now let's just suppose that I put BPO and other business services and so marami pang iba dyan okay pili ka lang just make sure that it's you know what you do and what's truthful okay so you can also put the company name if you're self-employed and so you can just put ABC company Philippines all right or whatever and then hit next all right so now it's going to take you to assess your source of income all right as well as your marital status so marami dyan. Um, pili ka lang if it's purely from uh, remittance abroad or from whatever income that it's coming from be it from you know your dividends from your stock portfolio or what have you okay and so you can see here I pay my income tax in the Philippines ngayon kung dual citizen ka then you know just put another so why do you wanna open an account with us Pipili ka lang naman dyan for everyday expenses, personal loans, investments, insurance, long-term savings, home loan, business, etc. So, whatever applies, just pick and choose. And once you've done that, okay, then you can actually select more than one, by the way. Ngayon kung satisfied ka na, hit next. And, and do you have a residency in the USA? Or, you know any other information that you need ticking now ang kailangan mo gawin dito it's gonna ask you for a signature so I would suggest that you get a white piece of paper black ink tapos pirmahan mo okay put your signature down on that paper and it's gonna need for you to take a photo of that piece of paper showing your signature just like what you're seeing in my screen right now of course obviously I'm blocking my screen with the logo of study money all right just for security purposes all right so please double check your account details or your personal details before you proceed so you have to scroll down and check everything correct if everything is correct then hit next hit proceed and there you go it's loading now for us so you will see terms and conditions update so scroll up, scroll up, scroll up, scroll up. If you want to take time to read it, then by all means do so. And so if everything's cool, then just hit got it. And so you'd be able to open your bank account with ING following these easy steps. So I hope that you found this video helpful. And if you do, hit the like button down below. Hit the thumbs up for any questions, comments, suggestions. Put it in the comment section below and as always subscribe if you have not subscribed yet and hit the notification bell as always i'll see you in the next video peace